Hello people, and welcome back to part 68 of Begusia, the City Skylines build guide. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And in today's episode, we are going to be working on the kind of castle town uh, that's going to reside in this little kind of chunk of land we've got going on alongside the highway near the oil town. And uh, kind of the, the science centres over here in Green City's town. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, guys, this is going to be the final kind of main episode of the city um, everything's kind of coming to coming to completion now I need to expand the suburb around here a little bit uh, which I'll do off camera and also over by the farm here as well uh, but I think and a little bit of suburb here too but I think guys we are going to be pretty much done uh, so this may be the final episode I will, I will of course let you guys know but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have some fun. So, I mentioned last episode that I wanted um, a transport hub to sit here to bring people to the castle and also have something nearby to the airport as well. Uh, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to integrate a little bit of overground metro in this area. So we'll have it run around the rail town and kind of the science centre here as well and the uh, Green City's farmland town that we built. So I think it would be a good chance to actually use the train and metro hub because we have train line right here of course that runs into the airport. Uh, so we can easily uh, hook trains kind of in and out of this thing. Okay so I'm pretty sure that um, trains are on the on the left. Is that right? Yes it is right. Okay. So this thing, super cool transport hub, let's have a little look at it, it's the first time we've used it in this series. So exchange hub where one side of the road contains the train station and the other side the metro. And two sides are connected by a glass bridge crossing over the road for easy access. So super cool asset. Unfortunately you can't see the Sims moving through the bridge, uh, but you know this is one of the new Sunset Harbour ones. And uh, you know it just looks so cool. So let's have a little look at where we can place this in. So, thinking probably, probably about there. Now, I want to do something really cool with the metro as well. So, I'm thinking we're going to run the metro kind of along here, which will run parallel to the road. And then we'll start to elevate it around here, where we kind of come off this little lip. Flow it over the road. And then kind of sink it into the ground somewhere around here and then turn it into kind of underground metro as it moves around the town. So it should be really cool to see that kind of working together. So first of all, let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. So we'll continue with our, our kind of spicy little main roads here. Let's go ahead and kind of curve these guys into one another. Nice smooth curve on that one. Not looking too bad. And then we'll come out probably... A little bit by 10 and then we'll just use the freeform tool to try and keep this thing as natural looking as possible come up to there have lots of nice mix of different zonings here as well so a bit of high density residential probably some office in here too we can do some nice detail with this little janky terraform we've got going on here as well. Okay, so we're kind of hooked up here. So with the metro, I want to kind of include some kind of like parkland that's going to run uh, adjacent with it. Maybe on this side. Oh, I don't. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see what kind of comes our way. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping two tiles distance between the main road and the metro at all times. Uh, that's going to help me keep much more symmetrical as it kind of approaches here. It's going to look really cool as well, kind of coming up this road to see the metro trains coming in and out of the hub. And that should be a, a really sweet thing to see. Look great once we kind of detail it up as well. Okay, so let's come up to here. So we've still got those two tiles all the way through which is fantastic news let's go ahead and drop our elevation step and then we're going to come out see if we come out by 10 and then go out up by three it's a nice little incline i think and then again we'll come back into our free form i 
And we'll begin to move away from that two, that two tile distance right now. So can we cross the road at this height? Now we're going to be a little too short, that's fine. Let's continue over that way. So just keep checking that your slopes aren't too severe. It's going to add a nice little layer of height to this area as well because everything's kind of very flat on the ground at the moment. And then I'm guessing if we just kind of come in a loop, so if we bring it under here, we can have a stop in this town centre. Bring the tunnels around and have one here. We'll definitely want one here as well. I'm thinking of rebuilding this to include one of the major train stations. Either the multi-platform end or the multi-platform. Because this area is so busy and kind of as the entrance to the town. A little bit underwhelming, right? You know, it's kind of just a bit empty and not particularly impressive. So maybe we might rebuild this in an episode. Let me know if you guys want to see this. If you guys want to see this function kind of rebuilt into kind of a major train hub rather than just having two small ones, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Uh, if not, we'll probably do that in episode 69. Okay, let's carry on with the metro. Uh, so let's bring this guy down. Let's come back to our curve road tool here and we'll kind of run adjacent with the highway. And kind of each interval here, we'll just move down a little bit as we touch the ground. And then we can sink right here. Cool. So it's kind of running through this forest. It's got a nice run up and we'll be able to do some really nice path things along here as well. Amazing. So I'll go ahead guys. I'm going to go hook up uh, the metro stations in all of here. And we'll create ourselves a little bit of a metro line to run through this area of the town. Alright guys, so the next metro stations are in. We've got this one right here in and amongst the uh, Green City's Farmland Town. And uh, there's one over by the Science Centre as well, right here, uh, integrated into the tram network. Because you know, people can now stop at the tram lanes and get on the metro. So we've got those two different methods of public transport kind of converging with one another. So let's have a little discussion about these overground metros. They look so cool when they're on the ground. Like They have such a nice uh, decal on their rail. So orange strip going through. They've got these little handrails on the side as well. I wish we had these handrails as a fence. It'd be really cool. So he goes, he's gonna be flying around. Let's get a little sight of him over the bridge here. Yeah, it's gonna look great. It's gonna add so much more personality to the area. And then we're gonna get some nice kind of uh some nice detail and opportunities around here as well. So let's have a little discussion about the road layout near the beach. Uh, we do want to have some roads down here. And I think in terms of the road network, kind of on this side, we'll keep it fairly limited because we're going to have the train line through here as well. So we'll need to do something with that. I imagine this will probably be a separate train line from these two. We won't get these trains to stop at this station. This will be a new line that maybe runs to the downtown. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see how it, how it works out. Okay, so let's begin to bring some roads out. Now, I do want a road that's going to kind of hug the hot air balloon stop here. And also around the back of the sightseeing bus. Maybe have some more commercialised kind of mini industrial stuff over here. To kind of go with the, the sightseeing bus. We'll see. Okay. And then we'll bring this down. And then what we'll do is we'll just start to create a little bit of a kind of a road band that's going to move kind of around our little transport hub here. Make sure we turn off these traffic lights as we go as well. No, thank you. So everyone's come through here. So we could do a bit of a park crossing here as well. Uh, these transport hubs are always kind of really good to kind of get those things in. So we'll continue with this road and then um, we'll just we'll keep him kind of going with the general flow here. I want at least two tiles between the road and the metro. So we're starting to come down onto the beach here now. So we'll kind of leave that road there for the meantime. 
And then we'll bring this one a little further down to the coast. Now, what kind of road do we want on the coast? I imagine we'll probably go for the big four lane one. And we'll keep this kind of running with the grass. So we'll just keep running that freeform tool. And uh, I imagine we can possibly hook him up into this little one. So that's going to give our guys two kind of main road connections here. And we definitely need to continue this side as well. It can't just end kind of like that. So bring it along probably up to there. And then we'll kind of imagine what we're going to do with this space at some point as well. So let's go through now and add in some kind of micro roads. Kind of little supporting roads where we can get some nice big zoning squares in. We'll kind of move this one up a little bit further actually. So I want to make sure I'm saving some some decent sized zoning kind of along the beach itself. Because we'll have some nice buildings here. And uh, we'll probably... I think that should be good. Let's continue him down. And then we'll have a little kind of dead end cul-de-sac road here. It's a very basic road layout, something too impressive. Now I do kind of want some crossings very occasionally within uh, the metro itself. Now this won't get vast amounts of use and it shouldn't cause too many issues with the metro but I really do like the way the kind of the rail crossings look. So we'll keep our eye on that and make sure it doesn't get too busy. And then what do we have to play with here? Let's maybe come down kind of a little bit like this. And then out to the side. Okay, I feel like maybe we want a couple of these in here as well. Kind of bring some little roads down. Interesting to see now we're getting people using this beach road as well. As a kind of a preferential route into kind of the downtown. I have to make sure we keep an eye on traffic flow here because there should be no traffic lights. This is the road coming straight off the highway. We just want these people to flow straight through. No slowing down here. The junctions, this isn't ideal. These are really close together. This could become an issue. Especially as this gets more and more populated. Yeah, we may actually end up deleting this road right here and bringing it into this one. Or kind of vice versa. We'll keep our eye on it because it is moving for the time being. Uh, okay, so kind of a little town road layout here. It's very simple, nothing too impressive. And uh, we'll, we'll carry on with our little, little road designs here. So let's come out up to this place. Maybe one up here as well. Got a chance to get some houses into this little spot right here. And then we can do some detailing with kind of the end of the rail line here as well. So it's not just kind of in someone's uh, back garden. And then maybe let's just come out a little bit out here as well and have some kind of nice little suburban streets that are going to look over the castle. So if we're kind of looking for my little transport hub now, let's start to get a nice view up to the castle here. It's a little bit more impressive, right? Okay, so let's have a look at some zoning. So in terms of zoning, I think the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and start placing in some of our kind of key assets. So first of all, we're going to have some medical in here. Uh, let's go for, let's have a med clinic right on the main road. Then we'll jump into our fire and of course we'll need a fire station somewhere. And again, I think kind of on the main road here will be nice. And then police, have our police station on the corner. So we'll just start to formulate a little bit of a main road down here. You know, you have all kind of your main services in this area. Uh, we'll definitely want a high school. Now I think the high school is going to be perfect right on here. It's going to have a nice little kind of overview of the beach. Pretty important building as well. It's separated away from kind of the main road. Uh, of course, we want the high school in as well. I think I'm going to go for the community school. Uh, sorry, the elementary school. Sorry, not the high school. And uh, let's have a little look here where we're kind of aiming for. 
think there's a fantastic opportunity here, isn't there, for a tiny little school park. Fantastic. So we'll separate him off the main road. You know, this is a, a technique we've done before. We've kind of uh, you know, had to separate your, your main buildings away from the main road. Makes them look a little more important. Awesome. We've got some people coming on the metro line now. Let's have a little look at it. Yeah, so people are really starting to use those stops now. Fantastic news. Once this area is populated, this will become very busy indeed. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a shame that we've waited so long to use this asset. And in the next city, we're definitely going to have a really intricate uh, overground metro system. Um, no, I really can't wait to, to dive into that series. I've got some really cool things planned for it. I hope you guys are excited for it as well. Uh, it will be happening fairly soon. Let's get him hooked up with water. Okay, so any more educational buildings you want in here? Uh, let's go for a public library, perhaps. Don't need to use the public library too often, so we're a little bit tight here. How about over this way? So we're working with some pretty gnarly shapes and terrain generation here, but I don't want to do too much terraforming. Um, how about kind of along the back here so you see all this is very ugly right but we can cover this with trees but I think this will serve as a really nice kind of main front building along here it's got a nice view out over the lake you see the castle from here as well maybe come and hire a book uh, on the castle I don't, do you hire books from a library rent loan I don't, I don't know what the phrase is I can't remember the last time I went to a library it's just filling some ugly water pipes not too bothered about their, the zoning techniques these days. Uh, okay, so I want a real mix and match of zonings kind of in this area. Let's have a little discussion about this little bit that's going to run alongside the metro. So I think we're going to use a couple of different districts here. So we'll have this one kind of along this space. We do need to flesh the road out here as well a little bit, but we'll worry about that in a moment. Let's go for organic and local produce green city stuff. And I think every little square alongside the metro will be green cities. And we'll get some kind of chunky boys in here as well. Let's kind of get some of these larger larger shapes in that we are a fan of and we'll kind of see how that develops and then with these guys here let's get in some residential and you know like I said we are going to kind of mix and match here we really want a nice variation of, of zoning so let's make this one low density get some office space in here as well and have a bank of offices here Followed by a little bit of commercial. Now I'm trying to keep all these densities, um, or all these zoning squares, at uh, very different shapes and kind of sizes. Maybe save a little bit there. Let's go for two by two. I think all this right here, these little two by twos, we'll go for high density residential. And then I definitely want a path of some sort in here. So let's have a little look at that. Let's factor that in and do a little mini detailing kind of session. So I think I'm just going to run with the regular dirt path. Let's see if we can kind of come around the side of the station here. Come into there as well. So where we got all these kind of tears in the, the path texture. Fantastic opportunity for kind of rocks and trees through there. And then let's begin to move our path around this way. It's quite quite, quite wavy. And then we'll add in a few little kind of stop points along the way as well. Maybe kind of have one right here and right here as well. And then what we can do is come into our trees, start just placing in a little bit of greenery kind of around this thing. So if you wanted to, you could make this a little kind of larger and turn it into an actual city park. Uh, that'd be a really nice idea. And then we'll just kind of get a feel for what this area is going to look like. 
just by dropping in a couple of these little tree assets here and there. Obviously towards the end of the episode while kind of adding some rocks and overgrowth and kind of different kinds of trees in here. But uh, kind of as a general start, the town center isn't off to, to a bad way, I don't think. It's nice. The Green City's buildings work fantastically well against the back of the metro, I think. Hope you guys agree. Uh, have we got some zoning in there? Yeah, we have. It's just not developed yet. That's fine. Okay, so we're starting to get some of our little zoning squares in right now. So one thing that I am really looking forward to in the new series is having a perfect frame rate again. <laughs> As uh, Begusia is taking its toll on, uh, on the old frame rate these days. Trying to simulate all this stuff. So with these tiles, I think we'll go with low density residential. Actually then again, how close are we to the noise pollution from the station here? Yeah, these guys won't survive. Even that high density might struggle a little bit. We can't place that in there, so that's fine. Make sure we keep our eye on that. Uh, but we can get some in here. I wonder if we want to actually draw this road in. Kind of at that point. So there's another connection right here. That's fine. So let's talk about this one. Let's have all our snapping back on. There goes the plain shadow. Let's come out a little further. And we'll just kind of see if we can snap to the road guy line of the main road here. Let's bring this one back a little bit. And then we'll grab our freeform tool. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with this kind of back road at the minute. We may make some kind of like mini industry. Maybe like a mini office park maybe. I'm not sure but it would make sense for it to kind of hook into this one right here as well. So we'll kind of hook it on like that. There's a little bit of a kink in the road but we'll straighten that out. Again we've got some great opportunity for some detail alongside the highway here as well. We do need to make sure though that we factor in the rail line, don't we? So we'll probably have to move this fire station over a little. Let's go ahead and grab him, stick him there. And then we'll grab our rail line. Again, okay, we'll come to our freeform tool. We'll just kind of curve behind these buildings here. And then we'll cross over the road. And we'll have, we'll probably have to rework this rail junction, I'll do that off camera. Just a factor in, but we'll have a nice little, little rail port here as well. Okay, let's carry on with that zoning technique. So again, along here, want lots of different things. Uh, high density commercial. Go for office, get some low density commercial in here as well. You know, lots of different mix and matches. Uh, let's go for a bit of high density residential on this front. A little bit there as well. And we'll just get much more variation. Oh, don't forget, as you kind of see these buildings appearing, we want to be uh, making them historical. And if we like the appearance of them, we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of keep it going. So I'm probably a fan of this one. And we'll just kind of keep our eye on it. This one's not too bad, I guess. We'll probably keep that one as well. So I think we're not going to go for nightlife along the beachfront here. I think we'll just kind of have... Maybe we'll have a tiny nightlife section. I don't know if really they would have nightlife this close to the castle. We could make it all green cities. Because we haven't really done a green cities beachfront before. There's been a lot of... Uh, a lot of kind of nightlife beach fronts in Bergusia. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's go for let's go for a green city's beach front. Let's kind of try this idea out here. And I think along here we'll just have a whole bunch of commercial kind of as they enter. Enter the little area. Uh, maybe delete this one a little bit too close to the junction. So we'll start to see a nice little commercial frontage along the beach as they arrive into this part of town. Public library is such a great little kind of main street building. 
Okay, so we'll kind of get an idea, a bit of an idea of how this uh, this theme will develop. Okay, guys, so let's have a little look at some park asset stuff. Uh, let's go for a small playground right in here near the high school. That should be okay. Definitely want some basketball courts in here as well. Can maybe have two of these here, saving room for a path through the middle. Always help our walkability. And maybe um, kind of like a beach volleyball court further down towards the water. Maybe have that in right there. So now don't worry about this kind of very harsh terraforming here. We'll cover this up with trees. We'll make it look a little more kind of organic and natural. Not sure how I feel about this building right here. But I think these are the buildings that we like. Kind of the terraces that are looking out over the water. Okay. Not looking too bad at the moment, I don't think. Uh, so I want to carry on doing this, guys. I'm going to carry on kind of blotting in some mix and match zonings here. And we'll kind of come back once we've got a little bit more of our infrastructure developed. All right, guys. So we've got our first trains coming in here now. The uh, station's getting a decent amount of use per week. Let's check out the name of T9 Castle. Got, uh... So this line runs back into to the university town, which has uh, a train line running through it that takes into the rest of the map. So it's kind of like... Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Like uh, like an interchange, you know, you can switch from one line to the other to get here. 392 through the train metro hub so far. And uh, yeah, you know, there's uh, passengers waiting here to use both methods of transport. And, uh, and we're looking pretty good. They just uh, kind of converge under the rail line here uh, where the highway kind of meets up. Also elevated the highway road again, kind of up until the airport. And then we need to do some detailing around here as well to Get this in, but we're getting some nice little high rises appearing uh, around the edge of the, the highway now, which is really great. Uh, so we'll make some of these historical. Again, you can see kind of the uh, the mix and match zoning that I've gone for in this area. Uh, similar kind of with everything else down here as well. So we're kind of looking down from the beach now. We're starting to get the, the atmosphere appearing that we're looking to generate here. Kind of lots of different heights and mix and matches. It's going to look very cool once it's all kind of done and detailed up. Got a big kind of industrial view over towards the the oil town over here as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's slowly coming together. Uh, let's have a talk about some beach assets. So we will have some kind of beach tourism here. Uh, I guess we can let's run for a marina. As you would imagine, people would have boats to come down to the lake. I think probably not jet skis. Probably fishing tours would be a good option as well. Let's have that in there. And then maybe a restaurant as well. So I just kind of want these few and far between. So where these guys haven't connected up, we know that we can run a very simple dirt road along the beach to kind of help them get set up. So we'll kind of have one right there. And we'll just run this along this side and we'll keep it going and a parallel and then we can come in at that point there so we get to do some nice uh, detail in here as well with some rocks and stuff and uh, i wonder if we want to continue it down here we might as well leave this as kind of wild untamed beach get some big rocks and overgrowth in along this part and then we can do some nice path detail along here as well so i think where we've got kind of the lots of these open spots we're going to start running some pathways through here so I think I'm just going to stick to the regular gravel path for this. I'm not going to do anything too fancy. And there's a couple of different places we can run through. So if we come kind of down here and we want to do some paths alongside the metro station as well. That's a little severe, but we'll deal with it. Uh, for example, around here as well, we've got the little zoning tiles free near the school. Great opportunity to run some things through here. Also up through this direction as well. 
So just kind of run through the area that you've made and you know, get some paths in. It will really help with kind of the finer details. Not sure how I feel about this high rise. He might be too big. This is kind of more of what I'm after. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we have a bunch of squares here where we can possibly squeeze something in. So I think you guys know what's coming. We'll go for an elevated zoo path and we'll just snap to our angle. I want to make sure our elevation step is all the way at the bottom. And then we'll kind of get us a little bit of elevated something in here uh, to help people cross over. So if we're coming out of this direction, we'll come up by three at a distance of 122. And of course I'm snapping to the angle, so we're good to come across at a 90 degree. And then we'll come back down to the same distance and then he'll hook up in there. So that'll just help people move from one side to the other. And uh, you can do this over here as well, but I think I want to kind of keep the uh, the metro here quite exposed. And then we'll do some fence detail in here as well. Let's decide on the fence. I think we'll probably go for oil industry. Just because it's kind of, you know, guarding off like an active rail line. This isn't really something you want pedestrians kind of walking across. Again, using our freeform tool, we can just follow the curvature of the rail and be able to have a nice, happy, nice, happy curved fence. Uh, bring him up to here as well, and we can actually take it all the way up to the building. Can we do the same on this side as well? See if we do it a little bit of a section. How close can we get? Yeah, we can actually get right up to the platform, which is uh, kind of perfect for what we need. And then again, let's throw in some rather large trees here. Let's bring our bush size down. Let's go for kind of one of these big kind of willow looking dudes. And then kind of some of these like oak, little oak numbers in and around as well. Just to help kind of flesh out that little rail crossing. Has a bit more personality to it, I think, with the the, the, the fencing alongside and then you've got the trees in here as well so we're starting to see this high street develop quite nicely and this one's a little too big not sure how I feel about you it's because you've leveled up isn't it yeah, you've hit your max level I think we'll keep it it can kind of be like a a nice building but where we've got all these kind of little tiny flats and almost like little beach view apartments here I'm happy with them Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to kind of bring things to a close here. Maybe put some kind of park, but I think we might just leave it as kind of wild, because this is really where the castle starts, as it kind of starts to rise up. This is really where I'm kind of happy for the, the castle's forest to flow down to. Because I don't want this town to be kind of too major. It's only a very small one. But uh, that's going to feel, guys, like a good place to jump into a detailing time lapse. We're going to fill in a lot of these areas here where we've got kind of empty dead space uh, in around all the buildings, make this place look very green, throw in some death care as well because we need some in this area. And, uh, we'll just kind of begin to bring this little town to life a little bit more through detailing. So as always, we'll be right back. Yet if hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or see is but a dream within a dream.
Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed a like below, it's always appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really like the way this area's come together. Lots of mix and match zonings uh, really help add different layers of height to different areas. Uh, it's very lush and green and kind of almost an extension of that castle forest. And uh, the new transport hub is receiving a lot of passengers indeed. And it really kind of rounds off this corner of the map, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead off camera and carry on expanding some suburbs around the map that need to be finished, like the Greens Farm, the Green Farmland Town suburb needs to be kind of rounded off. Um, but do let me know if you guys want to see uh, that train station rebuild. Uh, but otherwise, guys, I'm fairly sure this will be uh, kind of the last building episode uh, before we return for a final farewell and a look at some of my favourite areas and some of yours as well. But otherwise, that is it from me. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.